What can I do for you? Ask me a question. Oh, uh, you were impressed by? By the hot in Cleveland. Oh, hot in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, I just uh, uh, again uh, they asked me to to do a guest role. What was entertaining about that was um, as their opener, the they they uh, did a uh, stunt, which was. The performances were live. That was broadcast live. So it went out at uh, various on its various t uh, time slots. But it was a live performance. There was no going back. And uh, some of the people got really nervous about that because they hadn't been ever or hadn't been on stage in a long while. So to sustain a performance and know that if you stuttered, there was uh, there was no cut. Let's do that again. It was there. So everybody rehearsed very, very hard, uh, did a lot of drilling, and uh, mostly it went, it went well. I want to hear about the new album. New album. What's the concept? Who are the guest stars? Uh, guest musicians, all uh, soloists, uh, and I don't have their names in a, in a list. I wish I had thought to bring it, but some of the great musicians uh, around. Uh, uh, and the moment I, uh, I, I'm unprepared for that. I realized that when I came down. Um, but each one of those soloists are, are individual stars themselves. And, and there's uh, 15 songs and 13 uh, soloists. I've written the lyrics. Billy Sherwood, uh, famous for Yes, the group Yes, has written the, the, the music and he produced it. Uh, he, uh, Billy Sherwood is a genius in music, uh, every bit as much as Ben Folds was in a previous album that I did uh, with Ben. Uh, uh, Billy Sherwood is extraordinary as a musician and I think in my humble opinion, it's a it's a, it's a, it's an extraordinary album. It's it's different, and uh, I. Th I hope you'll like it. I hope you'll like it as much as I, I do. Uh, it's like presenting a newborn baby or a newborn born entity. I don't know. I think it's wonderful, but I need your <laughs> approbation. I need your uh, acceptance of it to make sure it is. As otherwise, it's not as good as I thought. But we'll see. Your your documentaries have been absolutely amazing. Thank I mean, you. The captains get a life. I just saw recently. Yeah. I mean, please tell me you have more. Get a life uh, up close is a, a new one coming out. Uh, those are the footage of each of those guys, actors, really close up, uh, doing and saying things you've never heard them do and say before. I've got another documentary that we're editing right now called Wacky Doodle, and that's going to be better than ever. I'm learning the process. Uh, um, in, in doing a documentary, it's like doing a story. You don't know what the story is until you're halfway through it. Oh my God! Then uh, A killed B, I guess. You know. And now you've got uh, you're you're able to sleuth it. But when you were interviewing before, you knew A killed B. Uh, you didn't know what the story was. Well, that's the same as doing a documentary. You get halfway through the story uh, or the process, and you realize, oh my God, that's what it's about. <laughs> so somewhere in that process, three days into it, I realized what I was doing was doing a documentary on power in a, in a studio, in a, on a set. Who has the power? Mm -hmm. But it's told through the, the story of, it's, it, 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 the story is told through the means of uh, the next generation and the struggle that went on the first two years of the next generation. It's all about power. Uh, and everything was so crazed and chaotic that somebody referred to it as Wacky Doodle, and that's the name of the, of the awesome. documentary. And, and you, you, you're never afraid to ask the tough questions. I mean, you get up there and you'll ask the greatest questions I think I've ever heard an interviewer do. And Thank you. If you weren't such a brilliant actor, I think you'd be a great career as a journalist. Well, I, I love the idea of talking to people, and, and for some reason, a lot of people come back to me in, in earnest, and I'm able to get behind the mask and as you guys know uh, you know everybody puts up this mask and you get the same answers and you're all right and so you write it out and it comes out as rote but if you can get behind it for some reason some for some methodology that you've used in your in your questioning you've gotten behind the mask you suddenly see an aspect that's not been seen before and you realize how 
how exultant, how joyful it is to have a conversation in which there's discovery. It's been nearly 30 years since that Get a Life sketch was on Saturday Live. Did you foresee the rise of something like Comic Con? Just how big it got? Uh, how big uh, Comic Con is going to be? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a whole new form of entertainment, really. It started off here as uh, comic books. So people came to trade comic books uh, and, and had a good time. Uh, and then it began to change, metastasize, really, into where studios seeing 100,000 people gathering saw it as a place to premiere shows and movies and stuff like that, get publicity. So now big stars started to come down, then people are attracted, and suddenly there's a ferment going on. You guys are here, who we weren't here 10 years ago, but now are here because of the attractions. It's a whole new form of entertainment. Uh, and they're all going on all over the country. This is one of the big ones. There's one in New York, there's one in Atlanta. And then all in every city, uh, some of them not major cities, there are Comic Cons or conventions going on. One of the documentaries I've just finished, uh, which I called Get a Life, is who goes to conventions. In this case, who goes to the Star Trek conventions? I make that discovery, but who goes to conventions? Is an interesting uh, concept. No, I, I did three years around Irv, and it, it seems to be done. I enjoyed it very much. I won a world. I, I, I've won world championships on horses, and uh, this past week I was back in Kentucky, and I won not a world championship, which takes place next month at uh, the Kentucky State Fair, but uh, the second largest show of that breed, American Saddlebreds. I just won a championship, so uh, it, it, it's great fun. So what's next after all, everything that you've done? <laughs> Taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, I may not wake up. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what else would you really want? To no, I'll keep plugging away. It's I, I'm doing a lot of interesting things. I got a, a wonderful script, uh, comedic script uh, that I've got it to places. Uh, I've got a an interesting concept for a reality show that I got at places. Uh, these documentaries are intriguing. Um, uh, we're talking to people about television series and stuff like that. So, we'll see what happens. Be a reality series with you? Or yes, I would, I would host it. Yeah. Yeah. But the idea behind it is it has humanity to it. You know? It isn't just a silly rendering. Premise? I'm a little afraid to. Is it's, it's a it's a different. Uh, it's, a, it's a good idea, and it could uh, easily be be stolen. But it involves commemorating, commiserating, and commemorating with people whose lives have been uh, destroyed. Do you have more dates coming up on sitcoms or Um I'm fantasizing that I'll tour in this al with this album. You got a group, Billy Sherwood's group, five guys who are great musicians, uh, and I go to Vegas and tour a little bit with this music. Oh, great. Isn't that wild? Yeah. If, if it works out, if the album is as good as I think it is, it'll work out. If it's not, uh, try something else. <laughs> One last question. So coming, so coming to Comic Con year after year, and there's multiple, you know, Comic Cons and conventions every year. Um, what is it that keeps you coming back to, to talk to the fans? About? Well, the publicity aspect of it. Uh, Everybody's here selling something. Um, the network, uh, TV Land, is selling their shows, and I've got all these projects. So they asked me to come and help them at that panel, and 
as a result I, I have my opportunity to tell you about what I'm doing as well as TV Land's slate of new shows. So it works hand in glove. Do you think if you weren't working on anything to actively, do you think you'd still be coming back and reaching out? Well, I'd feel a little awkward in that why was I here? So, you know, and I've been in that position. What am I doing here? Is, uh, is an awkward feeling. You're great at the Oscars. What do you learn about that? Well, uh, the, the director, 30 seconds, 15 seconds before we were on the air, he said, All right, everybody, good show. And remember, we're in front of 4.2 billion people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he went off. And I'm the opening. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I better not make a mistake. <laughs> Thank you guys.